This is Twit. Mark Gurman says that uh, in 2019, not next generation, but the 2019 iPhone will have some sort of, you know, notch style sensors on the back. That's really where they need to be for augmented reality. He says that instead of uh, the, the Connect stuff, and I use that, uh, the Microsoft Connect uh, for the notch, K-I-N-E-C-T, because it's roughly the same sensors instead of and, and, and apple did buy the company that made it for microsoft prime sense but instead of that they're going to use a time of flight sensor system which is a 3d sensor system that maps the world based on how long it takes light to bounce off of stuff um which is what you want i think for a rear facing rear facing AR. Yeah. yeah i know and what is tango uh, what does google use with this project i think tango? it's similar i think is they're it, using similar there's kind of a standard way of doing it it's it's more it's it's more of a uh, yeah it, it's more of a connect sort of system. Uh, it has greater precision. It can do things like figure out absolute distances without having to have a, right. a, a scale associated with it. That's one of the that's one of the I wouldn't call it a limitation, but that's one of the uh, missing features of Apple AR Kit uh, because I'm going to be moving into a new office soon, and it kind of made me realize that how cool it would be to just be able to like take measurements. Just by just by taking a taking a picture of, of like my desk back in my in my existing office, and then be able to go into this new office and then just get a go or no go. Will it fit in that corner? Yep, here you go. It'll fit. Uh, so it's I, I think that Apple is still focusing on it just for uh, let's let's call it let, let's call it uh, recreational augmented reality. Uh, and for and to enhance <laughs> photography, and I think that the vision, the year two thousand vision of the future uh, applications of it, there that's that's next phase stuff. That might be you have to wait until twenty twenty. There, according to German, Apple's talking to the companies that make time of flight sensors, like Infineon, uh, Sony, ST Microelectronics, and Panasonic. I think the uh, one of our sponsors, Infineon, I think it was Intel, right? Uh, oh, they're working on one. Of those. Interesting. One of our sponsors, which is this lighthouse behind us, has a time of uh, flight uh, sensor. I think from ST Microelectronics, as I remember, which is a Dutch, I think a Dutch company. Um, but that's kind of a cool technology. It's like lidar, but it but it doesn't. It's not 360. Uh, but it's and Apple uses it already. Like the um, unlock with Apple Watch uses time of flight to make sure no one's doing a replay attack halfway between you. You're kidding. And your computer in another room. No, they measure the time of flight for the signal from your watch. Whoa. So that it can't be. So if someone's sitting in between you and the watch with a Bluetooth retransmitter, they can't grab the signal off your watch, pass it over to your computer. Whoa, I did not <laughs> know that. That is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of cool tech in that Talk stuff. about over-engineered. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs>